Hello everybody, how you doing today? What I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to help you make your own key gen. I know a lot of you are pretty psyched about this. So I'm doing this live, which means I threw everything up here and I have to find everything as I go along. Alright, so I might screw up here a little bit, but that's how this is going to work. Alright, there's my cereals. Okay. Well, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go over to the key generator that's in here. Oh, by the way, let me back up a little bit. Go down below. Go get the link for the resource hack. Even if you already have it, you need to get this one and install it. And then when you come over, right-click on the key generator. Go down to the screen table. Hopefully this doesn't, when I hit the keys, doesn't activate anything in my recorder. I'm going to hit Control F, which is for Find. I'm going to hit Quake. Find. Alright, now I found the address here. Next, before I forget, we need to open the, the key generator to see what we're changing. Uh, when you're done, you're going to be changing the address. You're going to be changing right up in here. And you're going to be changing, of course, the keys. All right. Now, just to be sure, let me go in here for a second. Who do I have backed up? All right, I do have an original. In right. case I fuck up during the video. All right, now that we've seen that, desktop, keys, documents. All right, that's all set. Now back over to Resource Hacker. Okay. Now we're going to change it since we are doing something for Windows XP. In my case, I'm going to use my website, winxp 76 webscom Go up here and hit Compile Script. And of course, I did forget to mention you got to close that. And I know I'm missing something here. <laughs> yes, I did. Uh, I was supposed to hit save. And so were you. Go up here and hit save. All right, it's already compiled. Now, you'll have a backup, the original. So in case you really screw this up together, you're all set. And this is what's going to happen here. See? It's already changed. Well, next I'm going to skip right to the hard part, and I'm going to go over to the keys, because to change this here, it's the same exact thing. You're going to hit F3 for next, and you're going to find the next Quake word, and you'll change that to what it is. And in this case, it's going to be a Windows XP key generator. Now, I'm going to go over to the word Arena, and look for it. I'm using Alt-Tab, by the way, to go through the little windows here. I'm going to go back up to Stream Table, Control-F. I believe the word was arena I'm looking for. Find next. And there's my keys. Now, when you have your serial numbers together or keys, there's a difference, but they're the same thing. You need to make sure that you have these, I think they're called apostrophes or commas, I forget which. Sorry, people. They need to be on the left and right side of each one. And then at the bottom, you need to have this bracket right here because it starts up here and ends here. If you don't, you'll get an error and it's worthless. So, I'm going to go over to my serial numbers, or keys, I'm sorry. I keep saying serial numbers. And I'm going to add that to the bottom because I am going to go here, highlight it all, copy, go back here, Highlight everything and hit backspace. Do not hit cut. I control on pasting. I hit control V. Now I'm gonna hit compile script. Um I have to close the other one. Alright. Compile script save. 
back over here. Open it up. And we have the keys for Windows XP. Now also we can change where it says press here, doing the same thing. You go in, control F, find, hit the string table in the left hand corner as I said before. Control find, change it to generate any other word you want and the same thing with up here, you change it just the same. You just type the words in, make sure it's between the two commas. But I'm going to do that anyway. So I'm going to look for the word 3. Let me close this because any changes won't take. All right. Over here to the hat. Resource hack. Go to string table. Control F for find. Uh, I'll just put in quick. Find next. And I found it. And I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to change it to what it is. Yeah, I don't mind the TV in the background. Alright. And I'm going to put in what it's called. It is a Microsoft Windows XP Key Generator. Or just Key Generator is fine. Get rid of that. And these are valid license keys, by the way. Alright. Hit compile a script, make sure there's no error. If there's any errors, it will show up right in here. Hit save. Alrighty, don't click on it. Okay, it's now starting to look the way I want. You don't have to put an address up here, I just put it up here to get people on the website. You can also call it what it is, you know, Microsoft Windows XP Key Gen in the top. You can hit gen you can put generator press here. I put like 31 keys in there. I say you should at least put 15. Now I am going to right click here and change the name to what it is once again. So Microsoft. <laughs> Microsoft, 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 Windows. XP professional, by the way, I forgot to mention that. Keygen with VLK. EXE, and it's done. Now, there's a program below, and I believe it's called. It's a executable icon changer. There's a lot of places you can get icons. You can find them on your computer. Just put in, go into the search, and put in asterisks period ICO or go online and find one and change it to what you like. This was from a Quake before and that's why it's Quake. So I'm going to use the Microsoft symbol. I'm going to change it after but you go down below the description and change it. Very easy, self-explanatory. It asks you for the program and it asks you for the icon and it's done. It'll also save it back up. Well now you have made your own key gen so please uh, subscribe and leave a comment and you take care of yourself guys and any more questions feel free to ask. Later.